In Health Hippo's intro to biochemistry metabolism, we said this. There are 10 steps in glycolysis, with long names and much detail. This simplified intro is a start. But, oh head, chop and change, hat on, hat off, move, lose, done. Start with glucose, a sugar with six carbons, numbered from head to butt. One, on the butt, add a phosphate. Two, make it fructose, on carbon two. Three, on the head, add another phosphate. Four, chop the big carbon sugar in half. The butt half is easy, it just gets a hat. Five, make the difficult head half look like the easy butt half. But oh head, chop and change. Now that we're halfway through glycolysis, how much ATP have we made? None. That's right, so far we've actually lost two ATP. That's where the phosphate on the butt and head came from. This is the investment part of glycolysis. Just like you need a match to release more fire from gasoline, you need to invest two ATP to release more energy from glucose. Speaking of investment steps, now we'll explain this frequently tested factoid. Step 3, phosphofructokinase, is the major committed step of glycolysis. If you burn one ATP to stick a phosphate on the butt, this butt sugar can go down other pathways. But after investing another ATP and sticking another phosphate on the head, there are no other pathways for butt and head fructose. You have to finish glycolysis. So we committed and chopped and changed, so we now have two easy bottom halves. We're in the payoff phase, where we make high energy bonds. 6. On the hat, add a phosphate and make a high energy bond in NADH. 7. Off the hat phosphate to make an ATP. 8. Move the phosphate from the butt to the middle, and now there's an OH on the butt. 9. Lose that OH from the butt. 10. Use that middle phosphate to make our last ATP, leaving pyruvate to be converted for the next part of cellular respiration, the citric acid cycle. Help Hippo, help your hippocampus.